Welcome back. I'm Casey Campbell with Great Lakes Post, as um, also can be heard weekly on WJR 760 in Detroit. I'm pleased to be joined by the track president of Darlington Raceway, Mr. Kerry Tharp, getting ready for a big weekend. Of course, the Southern 500 is this weekend. Uh, Kerry, how are you? I'm doing great, Casey. I'm glad to be on with you and uh, look forward to, to visiting and catching up here in the next few minutes. Oh, yeah. Of course, big weekend for you this uh, this year, of, this weekend, Darlington Raceway, of course, Labor Day weekend, the Southern 500. How exciting is it to have the Cup Series, the Xfinity Series, and now the Truck Series uh, with you guys this weekend? Oh, it's, uh, I tell you, it's like a dream come true to have all three national series here. Uh, you know, it's like the third event, I think, in a row that we've had all three national series uh, at our track dating back to last uh, fall. So, you know, you got the Xfinity race on Saturday, and it's always a great, great race. Uh, then you got a playoff double hitter on Sunday, uh, starting with the truck race uh, on, on Sunday at 1.30, and then the 72nd running of the Cookout Southern 500 on Sunday around 6. So both of those are playoff races. It'll be the second race in the Truck Series playoffs uh, for that series, and then the uh, opening race uh, for the Cup Series in, in, their, in their playoffs. You know, for the first time since uh, 2004, you guys have had two races uh, on the calendar this year. How big is that for this track to know that, you know, it's kind of you had two races and then going down to one back and then back on your Labor Day weekend a few years ago. And now you're back to two races. I know that I know that the governor has been a big supporter of uh, this track and stuff. And of course, this track brought NASCAR back from the pandemic. And I know the governor was big in that. How how important is it to have? you know, two races here and also the support of the governor. It means everything, Casey, to have two events here at Darlington. And as you mentioned, from 1960 to 2004, there were always two race weekends here at Darlington. And uh, then we, we lost the one race weekend after that. And, uh, you know, really didn't get it back uh, officially on the schedule until this year, although we did have two events last year during the pandemic. So, it means a great deal from an economic standpoint, from a tourism standpoint, and it's just so, so big for the state of South Carolina to, to have uh, this influx of, of people come into uh, to their state, uh, you know, twice a year. And the governor has been a, a terrific supporter uh, of our uh, uh, events here at Darlington and really was a huge catalyst in us going back to, to live sports last May. And... Uh, you know, it's 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 terrific to have that kind of support from him, his leadership, and uh, you know the the economic impact uh, that these races have uh, in the state. Uh, you know, it's, it approaches a hundred million dollars, and so uh, for for us to be able to do that, uh, to show off a beautiful state, state of South Carolina, we're seventy miles from Myrtle Beach here at Darlington, about seventy miles from Columbia. Uh, there's a lot of cool things happening in this state and, uh, we're proud to be a part of that. You know, what event, what, uh, I know a lot of events are happening this weekend at Darlington. I know that for the first time in a long time, you guys are going to have fans at full capacity at, at Darlington. Um, what kind of events are planned for the fans this weekend that they can go see? Well, you know, it really starts this afternoon. Our campgrounds are starting to get populated and we're going to have some games and activities for the campers this afternoon, tomorrow, uh, we uh, uh, have a, a 5K uh, for a fallen police officer, Sergeant Terrence Caraway. So that'll take place in the uh, campgrounds uh, around 6.30 tomorrow night. Uh, on Friday, we have a rolling mobile concert in the campgrounds with a local country uh, recording artist. Saturday, we have live entertainment in the Midway. Uh, we have a, a, a playoff party Saturday night. Uh, with the talent from NBC, uh, uh, NASCAR on NBC. Uh, we've got live entertainment Sunday. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the race on Saturday afternoon and the doubleheader on Sunday. So a lot to lot to offer, I think, for our fans uh, this weekend. Yeah, I got to ask you, I know that the throwback weekend was earlier this year in May, but how important is that to have the throwback weekend at your track at Darlington? Well, I really think it, it energized Darlington uh, – to, to get back to where it was, you know, getting that throwback weekend, getting back on Labor Day was huge for us. You know, Darlington and Labor Day are, are kind of synonymous. And so 
uh, having the having the Labor Day race back, getting the throwback weekend going. Uh, it, it it's been a big hit with the with the industry and uh, with our fans. And you know, we did transition it from the fall event. Now we've moved it since the since we now have the opening race in the playoffs. We've moved it to the uh, uh, spring. And so being able to do that is uh, gives it, I think, its own identity uh, while we focus solely on the playoffs in the fall. So uh, it, it's been a shot in the arm. Trust me, the, the, the throwback weekend here at Darling. Of course, you got the, uh, the playoffs uh, to kick off this weekend. Um, how exciting is that to, to once again kick off uh, the playoffs for the Cup Series? And also the Truck Series playoffs are – yeah. are here as well you were originally going to have the trucks a second time right, right. Uh, exactly uh, you know the truck series will be their second race in the playoffs and this race was originally scheduled i think up in canada yeah, uh, up at, uh, canada Can uh, canadian motorsports park and they're not able to compete up there right now but uh it is the opening race for the cup series uh, for the for the second year in a row so we know that the road to the championship in phoenix starts in darlington south carolina and, and that means a lot to us yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, talk about what, you know, fan, obviously uh, talk about what fans can expect when they go into uh, the race this weekend. You know, cashless transactions have been a yeah. big thing. Uh, what talk, talk about some of the things fans will notice once they go in. Well, I think they're going to see a beautiful facility. Uh, you know, we've worked very, very hard. Our, our, our grounds and maintenance and track ops people have worked extremely hard the last uh, two months in particular to get our track looking great. Uh, it, it will look good. Uh, I think they're going to have a good time in the midway. The midway is going to be opened up more than it, than it has been for the last couple of years. Uh, knock on wood, it we, looks like we have a favorable weather forecast. So that's always a, a feather in your cap. And I think you're going to see some great racing. Uh, Saturday, that Xfinity race is always very competitive. You've got a handful of cup drivers uh, in that one. And then you know, the playoff race for the truck series. We had the truck race here back in May, and uh, that was uh, that was something else. I think they <laughs> hit everything but the kitchen sink that that uh, that day. Oh yeah. Uh, and then of course, then you got the the, the the one of the one of the iconic races of our sport, uh, the Cookout Southern 500. And so, uh, I think it's going to be really cool to see the campgrounds filled up again. Uh, it's going to be really neat to see fans back in the stands again. And, uh, you know, we're just really looking forward to it. Last question. Um, turn two, uh, you guys made some improvements to the track. How's that looking? It's looking good. I mean, we, we, we really had no choice up there, uh, Casey. We had, had been trying to, to piecemeal that along for about three or four years. Uh, we had some issues up there in turn two with uh, some of the track uh, getting what they call weepers. And so we brought in some experts last winter. Uh, they took a real hard look at the track and decided that the best thing for us to do would be to put a little bit more of a permanent fix to it. So we've got about a 600 foot by three, uh, 30 foot patch uh, put down. And that uh, we finished, excuse me, we finished up with that about three and a half weeks ago. So, you know, I, I think it's going to be uh, interesting, particularly in that first race, in the Xfinity race. But I think there go, there'll be some rubber laid down and I think it'll be just fine. All right. Gary Tharp, the track president at Darlington Raceway. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, enjoy the race weekend out in, uh, in Darlington, South Carolina. Okay, Casey. Thank you for having us.